Hold out. Perfect. Okay. And action. Welcome, or welcome back, I hope, to the Data Explorer's Market Update with me, Will Duff Gordon. So who turned up at Heathrow uh, yesterday, or very recently, uh, with no fewer than 97 pieces of luggage? Uh, well, it was the son of the President of Egypt, President Mubarak's son, uh, which has led to blogs and the whole sort of gossip uh, sphere going crazy uh, with conspiracy theories that there is a the revolution and the unrest over food inflation in Egypt has led to the, um, uh, this guy taking uh, sanctuary uh, in London. And he was tipped to be taking over, not definitely certain he was going to take over, but possibly. So clearly, you know, extrapolate from that and you see Egypt going from being an American ally to more of an ally of Iran, with maybe the Muslim Brotherhood taking over, ramifications for Israel. It's all looking pretty nasty. And then, of course, the Suez Canal. Now, this has led me to look at um, something a bit more simple that we can get our heads around, us mere mortals, which is the travel companies. Because at this time of year, uh, lazy tour operators essentially suggest that all of your last-minute deals should involve uh, going to a sort of tiny uh, chicken coop flat uh, esque place in Sham al Sheikh where you can go diving in the Red Sea, which has guaranteed sun and is quite good value, and offer quite high margin uh, uh, travel holidays for people, whether you're Thomas Cook uh, or Tui or Air Tours, these sorts of people. And I wonder how they're getting on anyway selling winter sun packages. And when I looked at the data, there's an emerging kind of a rather serious short position building up in Thomas Cook. Uh, it's currently 9% of its share is short, which has been building up over a long, steady period, which has the hallmarks of people thinking this is a, a sort of overvalued company in structural decline. It may well not be, um, but that's the situation. Just recently, the institutional investors have started to sell their shares as well. Thomas Cook's up today, but um, definitely one, one to watch out for. Then if we go and look at, say, um, a TUI, the German one, the German company, very big seller of package holidays. Clearly they do well. We have this aging population. They like going on holiday. They like package holidays. Um, but, you know, how long is that kind of that constituency being your primary audience? How is that going to stand you in good stead when the likes of Orbitz and Expedia exist? Well, there's a convert of various convertible bonds in issues. There's various bits of debt in TUI. That's why you've got 20% of its shares short. But there must be some short direction or short interest in there. And that's at a sort of 52-week high, I think, or close to 52-week high in TUI. Uh, if you factor in a, a very high oil price, over $85 a barrel, making air travel more expensive, some companies like Thomas Cook and TUI, I think, operate their own planes as well. Clearly, their margins could be coming down if they haven't hedged their fuel costs. So the oil is another sort of anti against the sort of the travel industry, uh, along with people generally feeling rather squeezed with inflation in their in their outgoings and their incomings, according to the Bank of England, flatlining since 2005. Net, net, how many holidays are you going to, going, are you going to be going on this year? I hope many, uh, but it's going to be tough for kind of like the mass, the mass consumer. Uh, finally, I couldn't help when you do a, a Bloomberg screen of travel companies, you suddenly see universal travel and sea trip come up, and that rings alarm bells. I've looked at these before. I don't want to go back onto the Chinese theme, but here we are again. Universal travel and sea trip, both provide sort of online travel support services, they sell tickets and they provide holidays. Uh, universal travel, 9% short, a record high, uh, and Sea trip uh, which is 5% short. And Sea trip though, the share price is going up, institutional investors have been buying more and more of their share. This is definitely a Marmite stock, Sea trip Some love it, some hate it. Anyway, this, there's something kind of going on, I think, in the travel space, space which will be worth watching this year. On that note, thank you for watching this, and if you'd like to read the report, the report it is at datatorals.com forward slash news.